Hi, I'm Spencer Dale, Chief Economist at BP, and welcome to another episode of Energy Illustrated. If you're new to this, here's how it works. In each episode, I talk briefly about an issue from the world of energy, while Sir Mang and Callum here illustrate the problem to help really bring it to life. Today's topic, electric cars. The number of electric cars on the road today is still relatively small, around 5 million globally out of a total car park of over 1 billion cars, so less than half a percent. But electric cars are growing very rapidly, helped by improving battery technology and importantly, tightening vehicle efficiency regulations. No one knows exactly just how quickly electric cars will grow. I certainly don't. But it's quite possible there could be as many as 300 million by 2040 out of a global car park which by then could have grown to 2 billion cars. From 5 million to 300 million in a little over 20 years. The growth of electric cars is part of a broader mobility revolution which is likely to transform the way we travel in coming decades as electric cars combined with the growing use of shared mobility services like Uber, Lyft or Didi, and importantly with the emergence of fully autonomous self-driving cars. There are still many challenges and uncertainties surrounding the growth of electric cars. How and where will these electric cars be charged? What will happen to all the used batteries? And perhaps most crucial of all, how clean will the electricity be that is used to power them? Will it come from coal or a cleaner combination of renewables and natural gas? But make no mistake, the mobility revolution is underway and is bringing significant benefits. What's surprising is that the massive growth in electric cars has relatively little impact on oil demand. And the impact on carbon emissions, which is what really matters for global warming, is also relatively small. In BP, we considered an extreme scenario in which the number of electric cars on the planet grew to over 1 billion by 2040, powered solely by renewable energy. But even in that case, oil demand continued to grow and carbon emissions were only a few percentage points lower. Increasing the efficiency of conventional internal combustion engine cars is far more important for reducing oil demand and carbon emissions. Improvements in vehicle efficiency could reduce oil consumption by over 20 million barrels a day by 2040. That's a huge number, compared with only a few million barrels for electric cars. But none of this should detract from the benefit of electric cars. They are likely to grow very rapidly, leading to significant improvements in local air quality and forming an integral part of that broader mobility revolution. It's an exciting future. Samang, Callum. Oh, that's another really great job. I do like this. It's sort of the journey from 5 million electric cars to 300 million electric cars. Part of the broader mobility revolution, but impact on oil demand and global emissions is really quite small. You captured it perfectly. Really great job. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon to illustrate another key topic from the world of energy.